Hi math students, this is just a quick video um, for those using Casio calculators. Just to sh quickly show you how to use them to pop out those statistics we need when we're analysing univariate data. A lot of you would recognise this particular calculator um, in various forms around Australia. And it's always great to be able to check our answers when we're analysing data statistically. I've got two typical examples here. One's just a group of singular scores, and we're going to look at how to um, pop out those stats from the calculator, uh, including the mean, median, min, max, range, Q1, Q3, and therefore the interquartile range. And then we're going to do the same thing for a um, set of scores in a frequency table. Focusing on that first example, um, for a set of singular scores, uh, if we go to mode, and select two stat and we're interested in um, univariate or singular sets of data so we select option one and then we just enter in our data doesn't need to be in order okay i have 10 scores so make sure you go through and check that all 10 scores are correct. Once you've entered them in, simply clear it AC and press Shift 1 to access the stats functions on the calculator. You'll notice a couple of selections here. Um, we're interested in using 4 and 5 to analyze our data. If we select option 4, um, we'll see here, uh, one will tell us the number of scores, two will tell us the mean, three will tell us the population standard deviation, which is not relevant for this video, and four will tell us the sample standard deviation, also not relevant for this video. Because we want to find the mean, we'll simply select two and then press equals, giving us a mean of 10.4. To find the median, shift one again, and this will be under five, our min max. Um, and you'll see we've got option one is our min score, so our lowest score. Option two is our max or our highest score. Q1 is our first quartile. Four is our median. And option five is our third quartile or Q3. The second step we want here is the median, so I'm going to select option four. Hit equals, and our median is 10. Accessing our min and max scores now. So again, we'll go to option five, select one for our minimum and press equals. Our minimum score is three. Select our min max. We want our max score. Select option two and equals. That's 21. Those two scores help us develop our range, which is 21 minus three, which gives us a range of 18. The next thing we want to find is the Q1 and Q3. So again, go to option five. Q1 is option three. Press equals. Q3 is option five. Press equals. And then I can use those values to find our interquartile range, which will end up being 10. Moving on to the second example, I need to change the setting in my calculator to use a frequency table. So to do that, I press shift mode, I press the down arrow, I select option three stat, and I turn the frequency table on. Now when I go to mode and select stat for one variable, you'll see that I have the score column and now a frequency column. And I can go through and enter in those bits of data. So if I do the scores first, you'll notice that it's adding a frequency of one, which I can then change by pressing the across arrow and changing those frequencies by pressing equals after I enter them. Always check that your entries are correct before proceeding. Looks pretty good. Okay, so again, we clear it and we access our stats options. So shift one. Again, first thing we want is our mean. So we'll go to four VAR. 
option 2, and that gives us a mean of 12.12. Moving on to the median, need the 5 min max, option 4, median, that's 12. Now for the min max, I don't really need to use my calculator to do that, because I can do that simply from the frequency table. However, if I did want to check, I would just simply select option 5, go to min, is 10, max, 15, and therefore my range is 5. Moving on to my Q1 and Q3. Again, the min max, Q1 option 3 is 11. Q3 is 13.5. Okay, hopefully that's given you a clear idea on how to use your Casio calculators to help you with some basic statistics. Here's just an overview of where to find all of those commands within your Casio calculators. Um, if you need to, press pause and write them down. Good luck with your future statistic calculations.